Yeah, little dog. Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, exciting Saturday night here in the end times. It's Saturday night of 4th of July weekend. I think this is July 6, 2024. So uh, while all of my friends in uh, Austin, Texas are having some big ass picking party, I am sitting here alone talking to myself and the few of my the the few of my uh, imaginary friends here in the Doomosphere. It has been uh, what has it been now? 60 hours since I stopped doom scrolling and uh, trying to figure out what to do with my life and uh, still trying to figure out how to get my ass out of the doomosphere. So, uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I would like to share a few of the comments I've received on both of my channels here uh, in the past week or so, and, and not from, uh, you, you know, just clueless moron normies. I, I mean, these are other doomers. Uh, some of whom know me, some of who don't. Uh, so, the first thing I saw this morning when I opened up, I don't even remember what channel it was. First thing I look at on the computer, <clears throat> you are a, well, they, you can't say fucking in the comments, but that's what it said. You are a fucking loser was the first comment uh, from somebody erased. I have been called, let's see, well of course, let's see, Jessica Wildfire, what is she called me? Uh, I am a hater. I am a jerk ranting on YouTube and I am in the uh, hating Jessica wildfire club of doomers that hate Jessica wildfire and uh, so I did put Jessica to the test you know talking about how doomers <coughs> use her name as clickbait so I I put a uh, I used her name as clickbait in a video to test that and I noticed it is the single worst rated video that uh, I might have had the, the entire year. Uh, the, the least viewed video on Collapse Chronicles when I put Jessica Wildfire's name. So, uh, you know, so let's see, I am on Jessica Wildfire's list, uh, on Wildfire's shit list. I'm on Guy McPherson's shit list. Who else? Zeke Housefather. I am officially on Zeke's shit list. Uh, I'm pretty sure I am on, uh, oh, I'm on Paul Beckwith's shit list for reasons I've never understood. I'm pretty sure I am on Derek Jensen's shit list. Uh, so far, I'm a little jealous of some other doomers who shall remain nameless. So far, I am uh, not on Michael Mann's shit list, but I need to make an effort to get uh, actually mentioned by Michael Mann. <clears throat> get on his shit list. Oh yeah, of course, the little gnat of doom. Uh, I'm squarely on, uh, what did the gnat of doom, the whiny gnat of doom, what am I, a, a, what am I, you little whiny gnat of doom, uh, a self-absorbed, misogynistic, ill-informed Ill ass. I'm on that, I, I am now on the gnat of doom's shit list, all the way up to uh, Guy McPherson's shit list, and uh, I've had two people in the past couple of days 
not so much on their shit list, but um, they have offered to pray for me, uh, to pray for me, and you know, whenever I have anyone offer some some uh, clueless fucking moron Christian offering to pray for the salvation of my soul, I guess I don't know what they're praying for. To tell you the truth, I always say I really appreciate it. You know, any any clueless fucking moron Christian listening to this. Who wants to pray for me? By all means, please pray for me. So uh, I, I, I guess I've riled up a bunch of my uh, my former Doomer friends. I, I I think a lot of people are wondering with a couple of rants, you know, talking about. Uh, being stuck down here in this shithole of the doomosphere, you know, not just the doom and gloom, it, it's just all the fucking scumbag lowlifes that I have met down here. I mean, the real, the, these real shitbags. How many people I have met in the doomosphere that have just, you know, turned out to be no class, low class, backstabbing, lying sacks of shit, whiny psycho bitches. Uh, so I, I, I think there's probably some of you wondering, is, 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 is Hambone talking about me uh, when, he's, uh, when he's talking about all the various backstabbing, two-faced shit bags down here that he's met in the Doomosphere that he never wants to uh, see again. Uh, and then I get a, a personal email. I, <clears throat> I, I'm going to let you decide which one of these whiny psycho bitches just sent me this. I just got this love letter. <clears throat> As I was thinking about this rant, uh, about all of these uh, whiny bitches and etc. down here. Here is the this love letter I get from this whiny little doomer psycho bitch. You, you, I, I will let you to, to decide who wrote this. Apparently, uh, thinking correctly that they are one of the people on my shit list. This is the review of their friendship uh, with me. Being involved with you was like being involved with a spoiled child that keeps having fits when he doesn't get enough attention. It's a lot of work and I don't envy those friends you have left and now I have had enough. And closing, the the last words I will ever hear from this whiny little psycho bitch, you should have listened to Sandy. <laughs> I have, I have no idea exactly what, uh, what that comment, uh, that closing comment You should have listened to Sandy. I have no idea, you know, exactly what it's referring to, but I'm quite sure I I should have listened to Sandy. You know, Sandy is uh, well. We we all know and love Sandy Shellis, at environmental coffee house. You know, Sandy is always. <clears throat> It, you know, she's been eating shit for being a being my friend uh, for years and years. The abuse that uh, that Sandy Shellis uh, has had to take uh, for for uh, defending me and 
and, and, and being my friend. Uh, good God, uh, all, all the people, all these little backstabbing little fucking shit bags like this person who wrote this uh, email, you, you know, trying to get, uh, and this includes Guy McPherson, uh, trying to get Sandy uh, to see the light, what a misogynistic asshole I am, and to get her to, uh, to dump me. But so far, so far, despite the fact I never listen to what Sandy says about uh, uh, drama in the Doomosphere, you know, Sandy is what did uh, one of somebody once called her the Madam Butterfly of the uh, of, of the Doomosphere. You know, no, Sandy that doesn't doesn't want anybody. She doesn't want any of this fighting among the crowd and uh, you, you know Sandy's got her little chats going along hers with all the you know the little love fest and the everything and uh, you know I, I always love going down the list of people in Sandy's chats that I have banned from both of my channels who despise my fucking guts uh, they, they wish that uh, I would die of corona panic and rot in hell. They all hope that I have, have cancer is what uh, I'm quite sure there's uh, people listening to this that actually uh, hope that I have lung cancer or throat cancer or whatever it is going inside my body. So, uh, you know, all of this stuff coming in uh, here uh, as I'm trying to claw my way out of uh, the Doomosphere, asking myself, why do I do this? So, uh, what did this whiny little uh, psycho bitch say? Uh... Being involved with you was, past tense, like being involved with a spoiled child that keeps having fits when he does not get enough attention. So, so along those lines, in the middle of May, the, the, the same day that I, you know, I announced I was taking a hiatus from doom and gloom, I get the message from the vacation rental business uh, that I work uh, that I work for. You're a super host again. All right, you have earned super host again. Your hard work and amazing hosting skills keep shining through. Tell everyone why you're excited to be a super host. All right. I'm going to tell everyone why well, I am excited to be a super host. I'm excited to be a super host because uh, I am a self-absorbed, uh, spoiled child who demands attention. That's why. So what is it? Over the past year, in the, from July 1st of last year to June 30th of this year, <clears throat> You have accomplished a lot to get to this moment. So 104 guests have uh, have stayed here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, I have a 100% response rate and my overall rating five stars. I have a perfect five-star rating as a uh, so as a doomer I am a hater uh, I am a jerk I'm a fucking loser I'm a clueless fucking moron I, I, I got religious nuts praying for my soul uh, then I go over here and 
find that 104 people have given me a perfect five star rating. All right, now it is time to celebrate and I have my profile badge has been extended. I have a super host profile badge, a trusted symbol for hospitality featured to guests across the site. So what are people saying about me? What are people saying about the uh, misogynistic self and form self misogynistic self-important uh, ill-informed ass hater jerk fucking loser clueless fucking moron uh, spoiled brat despicable human being I'm just gonna read these are I don't know how many they have there's page after page after page to swell my ego Emily my stay at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Hummingbird tiny house was everything I hoped it would be and more Sam is an amazing host and his hospitality made the experience so special he truly went above and beyond to ensure I had a great stay. There you go. It was an unforgettable stay, to say the least. I can't wait to come back and visit Sam and Sancho the Wonder Dog. Yes. Um... Let's see, a lot of people talking about the lightning bug show. Uh, here is Jennifer. Sam is quick to provide anything a guest might need. Looking forward to returning someday. Yes, here is Aldo. Sam's tiny house is beautiful and cozy. Yeah, Sam is a great host, very responsive, kind, and proactive. Responsive, kind, and proactive when I'm not being a self-important, whiny little, uh, you know. Here is Miriam. Sam went above and beyond to get me checked in and settled, and he was very friendly. Yes, the farm is beautiful, and the cabin in the pine grove was the perfect place to enjoy a rainy morning. Yes, Connor, Sam was a great host. Ten out of ten would stay again. Here is Laura. I had a wonderful stay in Sam's cabin. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Highly recommended. Yes. Sam, thank you for the lovely cabin stay. It was one for the books. Take care. See you next time. Yes. Here is Nikki. Sam was such a great and helpful host. Going above and beyond to make sure we had everything we needed to be comfortable would return in a heartbeat. Yes. I love this one from Craig. A great short stay in a bed in a cool shed. A cool shed in the woods. Okay, this one might be my favorite from Carolina. I was a little bit nervous about Carolina. Uh, she is also a super host. I was a little bit nervous, but here's what Carolina had to say. After a few deep breaths 
of the fresh forest mountain air. Even the bugs will become your friend. Sam is as organic as they come. Adorable. Yes, I am organic and adorable. Definitely recommend as a place to unplug and just be. Yes. Here is David. Sam is a great host. The farm is beautiful and he has a very cute dog. Yes. Here is Josh. I enjoyed getting to know Sam. He was a great host. Very kind and friendly. I stayed for a week and could have stayed longer. Being immersed in nature at Bugs in a Jar was so good for me. Yes. Long live Bugs in a Jar. Yes. Here is AJ. Sam and Sancho were very welcoming. Getting our bags to the cabin. Yes. Uh, I could go on. Here is Sorouche. Sorouche. Hassenbor. Sam was such a friendly host. The property was beautiful. The cabin was clean. And Sam showed us everything and made sure we were well accommodated. Yes. Here is Stephen. Sam was a very welcoming, was very welcoming, thorough, and attentive. He gave us a full tour of the property and drove us and our bags right to the site. He made sure we knew how everything worked and was available if there was any issue. Thanks! For a great stay, Sam. And this goes on and on. That was page one. So anyway, guys, what would you do if you were me? You, you, you know, you, know uh, you, you turn on the, the, the fucking Doomosphere and, and, and hear what a fucking insufferable fucking asshole, uh, jackass, uh, clueless moron, loser, uh, I'll pray for you. Uh, you, you know, you get this day after day after day, and, and then you go over, uh, you, you know, on your business, and, and, and hear fucking people who appreciate uh, what you do with your life. Uh, you know, why do I why do I do this to myself? Why do I roll around in, 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 in this in this pit of slime with, with these fucking losers and dirt bags and, and, and shit bags and psycho bitches uh, talking all of this shit about me, uh, trying to get my friends to dump me? Uh, I, I mean, talking, it, 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 it's like being in fucking junior high school. It really is. You know, fuck doomers. Fuck you. Uh, I mean, I just can't say it at much time. We are a bunch of fucking losers. The fucking doomer who wrote that was right. We're all a bunch of fucking losers sitting around down here. You know, I've got a fucking life to live. Uh, I've got a business to run. Uh, I've got clients uh, to serve, you know, to serve and service and, and make welcome. Uh, I've spent years of hard work, uh, dedication, thousands of dollars busting my ass making this beautiful place. Uh, for people to come and en enjoy and to spend a little bit of time in a beautiful spot in nature, uh, you, you, you know, to, uh, in showing uh, the, the, these goddamn clueless moron doomers there is another way to live. I'm trying to show by example that there's another way to live. 
and, you, and, and these clueless fucking morons, you just don't get it. You don't fucking get it. You're, you're all a bunch of spineless chicken shit pussies. Not one of you, not one person listening to this uh, would, would live the way I do. Not one person. Not one of you. With the possible exception of Nielsen Alhambra. Nielsen Alhambra in Dale, Texas. Uh, he is the only person that I know who would live like I do. The only person I've ever met in real life who has any fucking clue uh, what I'm trying to show people here. And I, 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 I'm, I'm sick and tired of uh, 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 beating my head against the wall, uh, all, all these fucking doomers writing all of this shit uh, uh, about spending time in nature and beauty and, and, and all of this. And, and, and I am out there, I'm, I'm walking the fucking walk. Uh, I, I'm showing other people how to do it. Uh, and, and, and these clueless fucking morons in the doomosphere uh, t talking about the, the, the dirtbag psycho bitch who left that message. No fucking clue what I'm about. No fucking clue. None. Clueless fucking moron uh, wrote that. Sick and tired of reading this hypocritical fucking bullshit. Uh, about how we need to lower our footprint and, and, and all of this shit. The chicken shits. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because uh, I have one particular doomer in mind. Uh, the uh, the what's the word the uh, the enigmatic book hermit. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Go over to Collapse Chronicles, and I'm going to make the futile attempt to get inside the head of book hermit. That ought to be a real knee slapper. So you have to go over to Collapse Chronicles to see a. Uh, well, Sam Mitchell tries to climb inside the brain of Book Hermit. There's a Doomer challenge. Love you guys. Come see me at Bugs and Jar Farm. I actually have. I, I, I could not believe it. And, and not because of the video I put out on Collapse Chronicles yesterday. Purely organically, do you believe this shit? that a uh, one of my subs, a, a woman no less, uh, a doomer chick, uh, I just assumed that she was uh, it subbed on Collapse Chronicles, but, uh, but apparently this uh, doomer chick uh, subbed right here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, just completely organically found uh, bugs in a jar farm so uh, she will be coming up next week I will uh, a, a doomer chick Humpty Dumpty tribes member who apparently does not uh, does not think uh, I'm a misogynistic self-absorbed loser uh, will be dropping by and uh, maybe we will uh, bring her on for a chat if she feels like it. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar and see another way of living. Bye guys.